Welcome to an overview and demonstration of Keynote's Device Anywhere Enterprise for IBM Rational Integration. RQM can now execute real device tests across the latest mobile, feature phone, smartphone, and tablets. Here we are showing Device Anywhere Studio displaying an open test case that has been created using multiple reusable components. This is also a parameterized test case, allowing you to enter in three parameters at runtime, making this a dynamic test case as an example of the data-driven capabilities that we provide. Here is the configuration utility for the adapter. It has several required fields along with several optional fields depending on your network and security as well as configuration. Here is our instance of RQM. This is a project I've just created named Kelly Blue Book Mobile. I'm going right into creating a script within this particular project. Here we are in the quality management module. I'm selecting a custom name and now I'm selecting the type. This is very important, selecting the Keynote Device Anywhere test type. The system immediately shows me the available adapters and I can place my credentials in to connect to the Device Anywhere environment. Upon clicking next, I get a list of the available scripts that are accessible by the adapter. I'll choose the target script and then click the save button. I'll now move on into creating the test case that can be executed. I'm entering a descriptive name for this particular test case. I will then go to the test script area and add the test scripts that I want to be included in the test case as well. I'll then also create the execution variables that match the parameters. In this case, the make, model, and year for an automobile. Now we'll save the test case. This test case is now available to be run. We'll then select one of the run links. Let's review the settings here. You'll notice that we got to the correct test case and the adapter. Now we can also choose to modify the execution variables before clicking OK. Now the test case is being executed, being sent to the adapter. Once here, we'll bring up a view of the actual device running the script. This is all being performed in real time. The device is actually executing the specified test case using the parameters that are being passed in by Rational Quality Manager. I'm now going to skip forward a little bit to the conclusion of the test. The test case execution is completed, and now you can see a success indicator. I will now click the show result button, which takes us right into the execution results. And you'll see all of the relevant level of detail for this specific test case, such as pass or fail, step descriptions, execution time, and all proofs which can be opened separately. Notice here that we have a timing mechanism built in so you can see how long each one of the steps took. At the bottom of the screen we also have our script log which gives you the device anywhere specific log output. Here's an example of a failed test. When we click show result you'll notice that the execution result at the top is listed as a failure. In the details we'll get a detailed message from the script. In this case it's telling us that it failed because the MSRP value did not match the expected MSRP value which was passed into the script as an execution variable. We have all the same text and image proofs all the way until the point of failure within the script. This gives you the ability to locate the exact point in time in which the error occurred.